Hey, good morning everybody. It's AmpRepairGuy.com. There's my website and my phone number. So today we have a Kenwood TL922 I'm repairing. The air variable on the plate tune side is totally shot. You can see just melted big time. The load side is fine. So I have a replacement. These are very difficult to find. So I'm going to show how to replace it. I'm also going to do all the other modifications that I normally do. Uh, the owner probably had a open on the output or he could have had a parasitic issue. But you know, once I get all of the mods done, it'll probably most likely never ever happen again. Plus it'll have the series glitch resistor. So it'll limit, if it were to arc, it'll limit the, the amount of energy that the arc can see, limiting the amount of damage that can be done. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the knobs. Remove the knobs first. And then I have to take out these two top screws here, and these two bottom screws. Sometimes it'll come right off. Sometimes you have to loosen the two uh, Allen head screws over here. There are two here and two here. You just loosen them so it's not clamping the front panel in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back with the front panel removed. To get these three knobs off for the plate tune, the load, and the band switch, you need a little flathead to get these two knobs off requires an Allen wrench. Okay, so the next step will be to loosen the set screws on the shaft coupler. You have this the two screws that are closest to the capacitor, this one and the one down there, the two as you can see. And sometimes this connection soldered, sometimes sometimes it isn't, 99.9% .9 of the time it is. So you have to unsolder it and loosen the screw, remove the screw, and then Remove the screw at this connection also. Sometimes it's soldered, sometimes it isn't. So I will also have to remove the screw at this bracket where it connects to the chassis. As you can see it down there. I'll zoom in. Phillips head screw also. And then you remove these three screws right here. Pulls right out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will be right back. Okay, so I have it removed. Forgot to mention before, you have to remove the screw from these connections to this capacitor here. So take the screw out and push these two leads off to the side a little bit. You can see, uh, it is a tight squeeze to get the capacitor out, but it will come out. It's pretty close to the plate choke when you take it out, but you do not have to remove the plate choke at all. Just be careful not to damage the plate choke when you're removing it. Just take your time. As you can see, the shaft coupler still installed. And uh, I'm going to clean this out a little bit before we, before I put the new one in. So I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, so it's all set. Get the front panel reinstalled. Knobs reinstalled. Resoldered the connection at the coil, reconnected the connection at the plate choke, left those disconnected. I'm going to take the cap out, do the other mods after this. Tightened up the coupler screws. Make sure the plates are nice and clean, no dust or anything. So, it's really important not to damage this cap in the first place. Once you do these mods, there's a good chance you won't ever have an issue, but these caps are pretty much unobtainium, so if you damage it, you're in trouble. So, I'm not going to go over all the other mods. You've seen those done in other videos. Just wanted to go over how to replace this capacitor. So, if you need any amplifier repaired, there's my website and my phone number. It's AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Take care.